nothing but good things heading into this holiday break. Snowmaking at Wildcat's been phenomenal this year, and of course, you know, you do all these snowmaking upgrades, and what's bound to happen? Mother Nature dumps snow on you anyway. You guys yeah. were great heading into yeah, this Yeah, I mean, the, the start of the season has been absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I mean, there's been more than a few times that Wildcat Mountain has been, you know, over 95% open. A lot of that natural terrain, I mean, we've had over 60 inches of natural snow. Um, you know, looking at the numbers this morning on our snow report, you wouldn't think of how good it actually was just prior to this past, you know, two-day rain event. But uh, I can say for certain I'm getting the updates that our, our ops crew up there is working as hard as they can diligently. It was kind of interesting to listen to Doug Garland talk about, um, you know, snow, maintaining snow. is It's almost like science it and is. also farming. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a very fine thing, and you really have to work to what the weather and conditions are doing. And Doug was talking about, you know, you get this rain, and it's got to drain off and all that type of stuff. And the way it's sort of set up the past two days, I mean, Wildcat Mountain was going to be closed Christmas Day as it is, but we really didn't have that opportunity. It didn't start to kind of freeze over and drain off as quickly as we would hope it would. Uh, so now they're working diligently today to be, you know, grooming. They're probably still on the mountain right now, grooming some of the upper parts of the mountain, cleaning. Yeah. things up uh, and as you've mentioned too we also have a little bit of some uh, wind going on up there this this morning so yeah. I mean the numbers right now don't speak to you know how good the conditions have been up there but right. uh, we're looking you know <laughs> it's better that it happened just prior to the start of the vacation week as opposed to right in the middle of it so uh, you know I'm expecting really good things once the cold weather comes back to us all of those you know two million over two million dollars of snow making upgrades will be put right back to uh -oh. use um, so it's uh, it's going to be, you know, it's kind of a pendulum swing. It's like weather, you know what I mean? Kind yeah. of goes bad and gets good and gets so. Well, and that comes to the territory, literally. I mean, Wildcat Mountain is uh, is an alpine mountain. It's, it is. It's high yep. altitude right across from Mount Washington. And it's a, it, it's a curse and it's a blessing sometimes. You yeah. You have beautiful views. You've got great snow when others don't have it. Yep. And uh, dealing with a little bit of wind this morning from your neighbor, Mount Washington. But yeah, that'll and pass. The beauty of the relationship between Wildcat Mountain and Natatash Mountain Resort. I mean, it, you know, it's a funny thing that the base of Wildcat Mountain is actually higher than the summit elevations of Natatash Mountain really? Resort. But yeah, that. yeah. And, uh, but, uh, you know, with that, they're only 20 minutes, literally from parking lot to parking lot, they're only 20 minutes away. So, you know, a situation like today is just perfect and sort of uh, plays into the fact that all of our lift tickets are valid for use at both mountains. So, you know, with your lift ticket today, if you're starting a day up at Wildcat Mountain, I mean, they got some limited lifts and terrain open this morning. They're going to be working to, you know, obviously monitoring the weather all day, trying to open up the summit lift if they can. But in lieu of that, you can be taking your lift ticket and go right down to Adatash Mountain Resort, which has a lot of trails open today, and Bear Peak and Adatash open. So it's, you know, there's definitely that, that vertical value and variety we always tout, uh, but in a situation like today, it's perfect because you have an option. Right, yeah. and f again, if you're not, if you don't know what we're talking about, Adatash and Wildcat, sister resort, same ownership. That's correct, yep. And whether it's a season pass or a single day lift ticket, you can use it at either mountain. Yeah, and direct to lift. I mean, you, you have your, if you pick up your lift ticket up at Wildcat Mountain today and you decide you want to go to Adatash, you head right down and you go right to the lift. You don't have to exchange the ticket or anything like that. It scans well at the uh, lift, so. And that's, I mean, a lot of people leave and plan their day around that. They'll do half a day at Adatash, half a day at Wildcat. You're absolutely correct. Even, you know, even if it's not a weather or condition situation, they just like to, you know, they'll start their day up at Wildcat Mountain, bang out a ton of vertical in one day and then head down and uh, ski the afternoon at Adatash and then start to join, enjoy the apre that we have in Ptarmigan's Pub. So. Have you had anybody yet claim to be the first person to ski all trails in a single day? Uh, no, I'm not sure if anyone's really attempted that yet. Uh, I mean, I, you know, we, we do an annual event up at Wildcat Mountain, the 100,000 vertical foot challenge where people ski over 100,000 vertical feet in one day. But to ski all the trails, that would be quite a feat it would. to do. Yeah, it'd be Someone's pretty cool. going to be up for that. Yeah, I definitely, you know, when, when both mountains are 100% open, that'd be pretty, pretty wild if somebody that's actually did that. What? That's over, well over 100 trails, right? You're absolutely so. Uh, what is it? 49 at uh, Wildcat, 67 at uh, Adatash. So whatever that number should be, 151 or something like. Is that right? Uh, was it 47 and 67? 40, 49 and 67. <laughs> so 150. I think that's like 300 trails. Yeah, I think. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Carry the three. Yeah. No. Um, um, but anyways, talking about you know we. With all the conditions the way they are, we've got a ton of stuff going on starting tomorrow. Obviously, we're getting into the vacation week. we got a lot of events uh, on board, and I guess maybe we can start at Adatash, if that's... Yeah, Adatash. I know you've be. been talking about some of the events, but maybe we can talk a little bit more in depth. Uh, obviously, tomorrow, Adatash Free Ride Series. Um, the annual free ride series at Adatash is known for its Abenaki Terrain Parks. Uh, tomorrow, the Rail Jam Series kicks off a series of events that will be occurring over there. Uh, Abenaki Parks are located over at Bear Peak. 
Uh, right now, the crew has set up a really great sort of terrain uh, park rail garden at the base of Bear Peak. So that's where tomorrow's event's going to be taking place. It's $10 to enter that event. Um, you can uh, register from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. At Bear Peak, there's a thing called the yurt. Yep. Uh, it's kind of like a sprung structure just outside the main base lodge, and uh, that's what we'll be doing registration. That's sort of the Abenaki Terrain Park crew's uh, headquarters, so uh, they'll be able to do the registration there, and it should be a great event and uh, something to check out for sure. Uh, also, we've got a lot of APRE that begins up in uh, Tom Regan's pub and the den. Uh, tomorrow, uh, we're really excited to have the Ross Livermore Band. you ever seen those guys? I don't know if I have. They're really good. They're an excellent band out of Massachusetts. and. Um, Definitely, you know, one of the sort of marquee bands that we always have annually there. And, you guys uh, only have good bands up at Ptarmigan's. We really only do have good bands. You're absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, Ptarmigan's Pub is, you know, if people don't know it, it's located in the Attach Main Base Lodge. Uh, this is free music, free entertainment. It starts it's from 3 to 6 p.m. Uh, and uh, definitely something to check out. So, uh, Ross Livermore Band tomorrow and then we have uh, APRE uh, bands playing all week including like Mitch Alden we have uh, local duo Bennett and Perkins. Bennett oh yeah and Bennett and Perkins. Yeah, they're be all playing. the rage. They are all the rage for sure and they'll be playing up at Ptarmigan's this week so uh, nice. you can check out adattach.com for all, all of the uh, event listings and I know uh, over at the base of Bear Peak too we have uh, acoustic. Yeah. Uh, it's called the Den Session so kind and of. I've, I've hit that up before that's fun. That's, it you know, is cool. You, you get you it's wherever you find yourself at the end of the day. You know, you hit the last trail. If you find yourself on the Attach side, if you find yourself on the Bear Peak side, it's all good. Absolutely, yeah. And it starts a little bit early at the den. Uh, the den sessions. It's like 2 p.m. Uh, at the den there at the base of Bear Peak, uh, mm. Bear Peak Base Lodge. So check that out. Also tomorrow, uh, super excited. We're going to be having a film showing at the Attach Grand Summit Hotel. Uh, Teton Gravity Research. Uh, one of the more popular ski film production outfits. They've been doing these ski films for quite a while yeah. and, and do some of the best out there. And uh, so tomorrow night at the Attach Grand Summit Hotel, uh, we're going to be showing their most recent release called Almost Ablaze, hmm. uh, one of the 2014 International Free Ski Film Festival Film of the Year Award. Wow. Uh, so a really good film. Um, doors open tomorrow at the Attach Grand Summit Hotel at 7 p.m. It is $10 for ages 21 up to attend and uh, only five dollars for ages 20 and under and again doors open at 7 p.m. so if you if you want to see super deep pow yeah. skiing you know I mean with the way snow is right now it's gonna get good again around here but and these ski films are amazing too because they're inventing new they have to keep inventing themselves really yeah uh, and I'm sure you as sort of a videographer you know producer of this show here can appreciate the technology and, and where the digital filming and the it's 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 incredible yeah yeah. What, what film was it that just used the, the colored lights? Do you? Because I just saw some clips of that online. It, it, it was just fantastic. Uh, is that almost a blade? That it, might it be, could be. Yeah, it might be almost TGR. a blade. Yeah, I think that might be this film with Sage Sage Catabrigo. They set up these lights on, on Mountain that, and um, I think they utilized, they actually colored the snow. They actually yep. put coloring in the snow. So it's just, I mean, you're seeing this world class skiing, you're seeing great you know, backcountry terrain or resort terrain or whatever it is, yep. but you're also just seeing them pushing the limits of just visual spectacles. Yeah, exactly, as if the natural terrain wasn't stimulating enough. Right. They are coming out. I mean, there's, I don't know if it's in this film, but there's also where they wrap the guys in LED lighting. Right. That was insane. Right, yep. yeah. Um, so anyways, what you can do is, if you want to see the, the trailer for this movie, you can go to adattach.com on our events page. There's a link to the TGR site where you can view the trailer and check it out. And, and uh, definitely come on by tomorrow night at the Adattach Grand Summit Hotel. All right. And then uh, last but not least, I want to mention that uh, on Sunday, uh, Corey Madden, our events coordinator, he's starting up his uh, You Go Girl race series. This is a great annual race series that helps to uh, raise funds for the local Jen's Friends Foundation, uh, which helps those who are... Uh, battling cancer and their family with uh, it, it helps provide them some money for the sort of everyday needs of living uh, yep. and not necessarily the treatment process itself but all the other stuff yep um, so the you go girl race series it's an open public race um, uh, format it's kind of an open GS style and uh, even though it's called the you go girl race series it is open to men as well um, so definitely it's uh, it's if you like racing, uh, if you like doing sort of gate skiing, uh, you should check this out. It's a it's a race series that's going to be happening all season long at Adatash. So uh, you go, girl, is uh, ten dollars to enter. Registration will be tomorrow or Sunday morning from eight a.m. to ten a.m. in the south wing of the Adatash Main Base Lodge. Um, so you can register again, ten dollars for that, and uh, and 
race. That's fantastic. Yeah. Adetash, known for its racing. You guys will have the Adetash Race League starting up Yeah, soon. thanks for bringing that up. I know Corey Madden, is, uh, he's grown the Adetash, the Tuesday Adetash Race League, and uh, we've got more people participating this year. It's a great race league, super cheap, only $100, and that includes your ticket for skiing every Tuesday. It's nine weeks of racing, but there's some additional weeks there that are not uh, racing more like you can be training. Yep. Uh, so, wow. you know, if, you're, if you have an opportunity to be skiing midweek Tuesdays, uh, you know, and you, and you don't have a season pass or anything like that. This is definitely a good good way to get in and be racing gates and uh, having fun. He has great parties up at Tarmigans after. And that sounds check awesome. It out. Yeah. So great, Thomas uh, Prindle. Uh, there is uh, obviously so much more. Yeah, what, I could be there, talking is forever. Is this the trailer for uh, a blaze? Yeah, I guess we're looking at that. Okay. Anyways, last few things. Wildcat Mountain, we got Pat Foley up there tomorrow afternoon up at the Wildcat Pub. We got uh, Gilson Snowboards doing a snowboard demo uh, Sunday up at Wildcat Mountain. And then uh, I'll quickly mention for the month of January, we're going to be doing $29 Learn To. So. I saw that. that yeah. That's, uh, that's great. I can come back on and talk about that later this week. But, but uh, January, it looks like the whole month of the January. The whole month of January, month. yeah. Basically, the only catch is you got to make a reservation at least 48 hours in advance. You can do this at Adatash or Wildcat. Um, so people that don't know how to ski or snowboard can learn. It uh, includes a three-hour lesson, lift ticket, rental equipment for just $29. Uh, Adatash.com, SkiWildcat.com for all the info on that. Thanks, Chris. Right. There is so much out there. Go yeah. to the website. And don't forget, check out this movie movie tomorrow.